matches one fall. Introducing first of all from out of town, Snake Brown. His opponent from Ackworth, Georgia. Please give a big welcome to Ranger Ross. Indeed, the pride of Ackworth, Georgia. Ranger Ross, after serving eight years in the uh, United States Army, Special Forces uh, in the Ranger Unit, now competing here in the NWA against the very deranged Snake Brown. And the Ranger would just love to come back kick Saint Snake Brown into sanity. Dollar and elbow tie up there. And the snake from out of town. Snake rather emphatic about his uh, description of what is going on now. Certainly looked like wrestling to me. Nice go behind takedown by the Ranger. And they flitters out of the ring. Snake has that, that wild look about him, wouldn't you say? You ever wonder what a, they had a postage stamp in commemoration of an insane asylum. His picture would probably be on it. But he looks like one flew over the net. Nice clothesline by the Ranger. Down goes Snake Brown. Don't forget now, we're going to show you the altercation. It got very hot in Fort Bragg for one great Muta. We'll show you that piece of videotape still to come. Plus our main event, Ken Scotty Steiner. Stop the unbeaten streak of the great Muta. That's our main event. And that will be all for the snake. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match, Ranger Ross. Ranger Ross with a combat kick victory over Snake Brown. We're going to take another look at the combat kick. Remember, fans, the Great American Bash Tour is now underway. Certainly want to say hi to the fans in Raleigh, Greensboro. We mentioned Salisbury, boom, Maryland, right there you go. Hampton, Virginia, and Charlotte. Super action coming your way. And the man to tell you about the Great American Bash is coming up next. The Round Mound of Sound, Joe Pettacino. Welcome back, everyone. You know, earlier in the show, I told you we had a great show lined up for you today, and I think I've lived up to it. And don't forget, the big TV main event is still to come. Now, the Great American Bash has started this week. Thursday night, as a matter of fact, in Landover, Maryland, to a packed house, and I understand it's been that way ever since. And we are really looking forward to this summer's tour of the Great American Bash. And I want to urge you, if the Great American Bash comes anywhere within driving distance of your home, you be there because it will be one of the most exciting events of the summer. And you know, one of the things we want to talk about is some people who will be going to the bash courtesy of our Grand Slam contest. And in just a few seconds, I'll be telling you who this week's winners are in our Grand Slam contest. But first, let's take a look at the official NWA Top Ten. Coming in in the number 10 position this week, it's Terry Funk. Dr. Death Steve Williams fills the number 9 position. Terry Bam Bam Gordy, number 8. Dangerous Dan Spivey's number 7. For Freebird Michael Hayes, number 6. Hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert is number 5. The Great Muta comes in in 4th position. Sting is in the 3rd place. Lex Luger in 2nd. And Ricky the Dragon Steamboat is the number 1 contender to Ric Flair's World Heavyweight title. Well, the suspense has been going on long enough. We're going to announce 5 of our winners in our Grand Slam contest. Let's take a look at this week's first place winners. It's Charles Kinerman of Houston, Texas, and Brad Delt of Wayne, Michigan. Now, those two gentlemen will be winning trips to the bash in Baltimore, plus a VCR, plus Turner Home Entertainment tape. Our second place winners for this week, Deborah McWilliams of Brooklyn, New York, Howard Kurtz of Chicago, Illinois, and George F. Fox IV of Hampstead, North Carolina. They will win trips for two to the bash. This is the last week that you can register to be in the Grand Slam contest. Send a postcard to the address you see there on the screen and put your name, address, phone number, and favorite NWA wrestler. And this is the last week. Don't forget to register. You could win 